Hello and welcome to Teachings in Education, Google Search. These are the top 10 tasks that will be completed fast, fast, fast. For those interested in becoming a Google Certified Educator Level 1. Number 1. Set Google Search as a default. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is set Google Search as your default engine homepage. So you're going to go to Settings. And first you're going to click this icon right here. And you're in Chrome. So you're going to go to the Chrome Settings. And now we're in the Chrome Settings. You can scroll down. Now the search engine using the address bar we have is Google. And if you want to make a Google, a Google Chrome your default browser, you just go to make default. It's going to open up your computer settings. Scroll down to web browser and go to Google Chrome. X out. And now Google Chrome is my default browser. And it's also as the search engine as well. Number two, utilize safe search. Next up, we want to look to utilize safe search. So to do that, we're going to click this settings right here. And then if you go three down, you'll see it says turn on safe search. Click that. And you see right here it tells us as well, safe search is turned on. Number three, update your location. The next thing we're going to do is update our location. So to do that, you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the bottom. And if you see here, it says hack and sack. But if you want to update, if you want to update your location, you simply press use precise location. So I'll click that, and it's been updated. Number four. Use voice search. Next up, you might want to use voice search. So in order to use voice search. You're going to click on this little microphone thing right here. It says search by voice. So I'm going to turn this on. And let's say we want to search for a history lesson. History lesson. And here you see below history lessons by Ted Ed, US history lesson plans and activities, etc. and so forth. Number five use web search tools next you want to explore web search tools so let's say we're exploring um, Emperor Penguin here are some search tools we can first go to images of penguins of Emperor Penguins videos books news about Emperor Penguins um, even more shopping. Number six, work with search operators. Next, we want to work on search operators. So, first, if you want to see what they are, search operators Google, type that in. We'll get off news. And the best one to click would be a Google search help because it's actually from Google and you'll see here refined web searches um, you could use symbols or words in your search to make your search results more precise so here are some examples so for example um, let's say you want to exclude words from your search so I'll do an example here Let's say you want to look up Jets without looking up the New York Jets, right? So let's type in Jets. 
So you type in Jets, and the first thing that comes up is the New York Jets, the football team. Well, if you go to your operators, you see that if you put a minus in front of a word, like car, it'll take that word out of the search. So this time we'll put the word Jets, we'll put minus, and we'll put the word minus the word new, minus the word York. And now you have Jets, US Global, Store Locator, Pizza. Number seven, image search tools. Now, let's say you want to look up and um, you want to refine your search for image and you want to use image search tools. So let's let's do a butterfly, let's say. And we're going to go to images right here. I'll click on this. And let's look at some tools for images. Um, click on tools. And first off, you could uh, filter by the color of a butterfly. So let's say you want just a red butterfly. Now you find this red butterflies. Let's say you want a photo. Now it's just photos. Perhaps you want an animated uh, a line drawing of a butterfly. You see here. Um, you can filter by something really important called usage rights. And probably the best one to use would be uh, labeled for reuse because you're allowed to use that and you won't be sued or anything like that. You can use it for um, commercial projects. And you see there's not that many out there. Number eight, use reverse image search. Um, now you could actually use something called a reverse search image where you can pick an image and they'll tell you a little something about it. So let's search by image. I'll pick an image from my desktop, let's say. Um, let's do this one, The Walking Dead. And um, this is the image right here. And um, look, best guess, it says Atlanta, because if you take a look at the skyline, you see here it's uh, Walking Dead takes place in Atlanta, and that might be the title of the image because it's the title of The Walking Dead in the background of the city Atlanta. Number nine, delete search history. Now let's say you would like to delete your search history. Well, you go up here to the three dot icon, go down to history, again go to history, and here you can see all the things that we've recently searched, right? Atlanta, Google search, butterfly, New York Jets, and if I click on any individual one, I can simply remove from my history, and it's gone. Remove from my history, and it's gone. If you want to get uh, more specific, click uh, Clear Browsing Data. And now you can f uh, remove from the past hour, past day. It tells you how many items. The past week, a thousand items. You'll be removing a downloaded history. Um, you can uncheck and check, uh, for example, uh, cookies and other sites. But remember, uh, that'll sign you out of a lot of websites, as it tells you down here. So it's, it's really up to you. Number 10, view results page. And lastly, we want to review our uh, search results page because you can get a lot of information from that. Results search page. Google help. And if you take a look here, it gives you kind of a breakdown of whenever you search something, what you know about it at the top, the top, middle, uh, bottom of the page. So for example, at the top of the page, you get your microphone icon, the apps, your picture, um, search filters are below, search results and ads. Um, something you should know is that ads come up at the top. As for search results, you'll get a title, 
in uh, blue, a URL in green, and the snippet about the URL, a little bit of text will tell you. And again, at the bottom of the page is your location, and uh, you can send feedback.